Hello, my name is Andre. I'm a founder of Psytrance Project Sinsan and Electro House Project Endevax. I would like to represent you the free video tutorial which is dedicated to secrets of mixing the dance music. The reasons why I do this were a lot of questions and requests from producers about my way of making and processing the sound. I saw numerous video tutorials about mixing and mastering music and the main disadvantage is that the creators did an emphasis on rock and pop music, didn't pay attention on really important aspects of mixing or explained how to make instead of why we do exactly this. I didn't find the explanation of some important moments there, so I found the answers on my questions by long-term mistakes and also by discussions with my colleges. Also, in this video were used, in my opinion, the most effective plugins, hardware and software synthesizers for deeper understanding the process. What I explain here is not a gospel truth, this is only my vision of some aspects in sound recording. I don't impose on you my own point of view, I just propose it as alternative for achievement of best sounding your tracks. I want to thank Access Music, the creator of my favorite synthesizer Access Virus TI, Steinberg, the producer of music sequencer Cubase, TechSmith for the perfect package of video capture software Camtasia Studio, forums Russian Music Makers and 625.ru for priceless exchanging of experience, Vitaly Sheshlevsky for hosting this video, and Veronika Kasinska and Yevgeny Rabinin for translation. Please sorry for my poor English. Introduction Let's start with basic skills of equalization. Unfortunately, the process of equalization actually is nowhere described and everything is reduced to advices such as cut dull on 700 Hz or add some presence on 1200 Hz. These advices unfortunately are not suitable for real work and sometimes lead into temptations and helps. The equalization allows to eliminate frequencies conflicts between instruments. It is connected with non-linearity humanity hearing, namely with the effect of acoustical masking. The problem of frequencies conflict is that we have two sources with overlapped spectrum, and one of them is louder than another, so we stop to hear sound, which is more silent. The vivid example of frequencies conflict is the conversation in an airport. When a plane is flying up, we stop to hear what an interlocutor talks. That means that the noise of flying up plane blocks the spectrum speech and we don't hear our interlocutor's voice. Absolutely, the same problem is with instrument sound. Every producer has the same problem. All instruments sound perfect separately, but together it is soap. This soap is a result of acoustical masking. In acoustic music, for example, in symphonic orchestras, the equalization is impossible and the sound of instruments doesn't change. You can avoid this problem of frequencies conflicts with correct arrangement. Actually, there is a much in common between classical and electronic music. For example, Jimi Hendrix plays trends in 70s years, but at the time there were no drum machines and virtual analog synthesizers. So his trends sounds like strange beat on acoustic drums and indescribable sounds from his Fender. In electronic music, the equalizers and devices of dynamical processing are used for every instrument in 90% of cases. The main idea of equalization is to eliminate frequencies conflicts. Main principles First, there is no universal equalizer. Till this moment I haven't found universal equalizer just because of one reason. In music, except the process, there is a concept of musicality. That means that two different equalizers, compressors and chorus will sound different. Sometimes this difference is minimal. But at identical but extreme adjustments of device, the difference can be obvious. In one of my works I was looking for good room reverb. I tried a lot of expensive devices and stopped my choice on a simple reverb from set of standard plugins of Cubase 4. And the criterion of the choice was musicality. Conclusion. Please learn the way of work and sphere of application of different devices and then define with using the plugins, software or hardware. 2. The equalizer works less with cutting frequencies than with rising of it. 3. In the bottom range we use a small width of strip, in the top range big width of a strip. 
before. Almost any change in one band will affect the sound in the other bands. Acoustical masking is binaural phenomenon. Theoretically, it means that two instruments with overlapped frequencies disturbing each other. Everything will be very sad if no binarial unmasking. The sense of binaural unmasking is if two sound sources with similar spectrums are situated in one space, set at a parity of levels in 12-15 decibels, the weakest will disappear. But if we dissolve them on a 60 and more degrees on a panorama, then the weakest will be heard at levels 50-60 decibels. So that means that it can eliminate frequency conflicts. Many producers start mixing with pushing a button mono on a master section. But I use mono correction in the end of mixing process for checking correctness of sounding. More often, the problem with bass and sub bass spectrum of mixes frequencies can be easily watched in mono mode. Also, a big influence has an addition of right and left channel. If we use working with phase effect incorrect, chorus, phase of flanger, stereo enhancers, and so on, the sound can disappear from our track. Some video tutorials associate mono with radio and TV compatibility. I don't exclude this connection, but I think that mono compatibility lives out one's days. So you have to pay attention on sounding's correction of mono version mix in within the limits of correct mixing. 5. Easier you can solve the frequencies conflict on group instruments. It is very difficult to define problematic instruments in a mix without acoustical training. Let's divide a mix into three parts. In effect, a mix has to be divided into seven parts, but I do so for you, for better understanding. So, first part, from 0 Hz to 1020 Hz. In this range are situated only bass and kick. Second part from 1020 Hz to 8 kHz. In this range are situated all instruments. Third part, from 8 kHz to 22 kHz. In this range are situated cymbals, high percussion instruments and high range of all instruments. According to my words, I cut all frequencies lower 100, 150 Hz in all instruments and all effects in sense except bass and kick. For this, I use only equalizer UAD1 Cambridge AQ. It has special mode for extreme cut, elliptic 6, which provides to cut sub bass artifacts for 100%. Also, you should cut high frequencies in every synthesizer part and every effect in sense. I select a frequency from 20 to 16 kHz to my taste.
Decolonization in Process. A work of humanities hearing we can compare with the work of spectral analyzer. Spectral analyzer shows up a total spectrum of all instruments in a certain frequency. But our ear hears only the loudest sound on this frequency. Our mission is to cut all superfluous frequencies in instruments for each of them sounds in their range. Conclusion. It is absolutely not important if instruments separately sounds awful, important how they will sound together in a mix. The device Spectral Analyzer will help you in a process of control. For example, DOT RTA, Penguin, Spectrolab or Loud Technologies EAW Smart. Spectral Analyzer will show on which frequency spectrums are overlapped, blocked, and also will help which frequencies at what instruments are necessary to cut off. Of course, I don't force you to mix with Spectral Analyzer, I just recommend you to use your ears. In difficult situations, Spectral Analyzer helps to control bass and sub-bass. On these frequencies, it is possible to reveal problems at wide experience and at big control. I mean special acoustic of a room and quality control monitors. In my home studio, I use KRK RP8 monitors and Spectral Analyzer, which is built in plugin Isotope Ozone 3. This means all to achieve a great result. Anyway, finally mastering has to be done by specialist in a studio or by label. In my opinion, to do mastering at home is impossible and dangerous. Reasons are the same. You need a wide producer experience, good acoustic design and great control acoustics. Some mycologists prefer to do the whole process from beginning till mastering by their own. With great pleasure, I work with session musicians and experts on record, mastering and prefer to give each professional to do their job. As I said before, the easiest way to solve frequencies conflicts is to do it on groups instruments. Let's start with classical group, bass and kick. Kick spectrum are quite wide striped because of mid frequency click with expressed hump in an area of from 40 till 200 Hz. Bass spectrum is almost linear in an area from 42 till 1500 Hz. So it means that we have a classical example of overlapped blocked spectrums. Let's listen bass and kick together. The volume of bass and kick must be approximately equally, which kicks priority in 1-3 dB. Let's mute bass channel and remember how sounds kick. Now we switch on bass again and listen careful what is wrong with kick sound in low frequency spectrum. Let's switch on off bass several times to see what happens with kick's timbre. Usually, because of bases overlapping spectrums, the low frequency of kick drum disappears. Solve of conflict number one. A resolution of a problem usually consists of cutting a frequency from a base for seven frequencies whole for low frequency component of a kick. Attention! Use only nonlinear phase equalizer, for example, Waves Q series. Let's do a small cutting in base, 3 or 5 decibels, and displays from 50 Hz till 200 Hz. We hear that in one moment a kick begins to sound white in low frequency area. You should cut the main kick's frequency from the bass very careful, otherwise the sound of mix on low frequencies will be very faded. Also, you should experiment with right choice of kicks and basses timbres. At ideal conformity of timbres of a bass and kick, a bass doesn't sound simultaneously with kick, but the impression is made that it sounds constantly. Often recommend to situate a bass and kick in different octave. Yes, yes, you have no misheard. A kick is same instrument as the others. It has their own frequency of sounding. It means that a kick plays on a certain note. For this reason, we cut frequencies from a bass, not from a kick. A kick plays on one note and a bass on different, in the area from 1 till 3 octaves. Also, with experience you will understand that the bass's frequency should correspond to a tonality of the whole track.
With experience you will learn to hear and to correct the bass frequency. If you are a beginner, usually you hear that this kick in this mix sounds bad. More often helps a bass sample's replacement on other sample, with possible tweaking in minimal limits. Also pay attention the duration of a kick should correspond to a speed of track. The kick makes quarter from duration of one bar. The most typical mistake of beginners is the rise of frequency on a bass from 50 till 150 Hz. In a result a kick will sound good, but not in balance with bass. If we make the kick more silently, we fail the rest spectrum of a kick and just aggravate the conflict. Self of conflict number two. I'm sure everybody likes when about our tracks people say, yeah, it's pumps. Second variant of resolution of overlap of spectrum of kick and bass is sidechain. The principle of work of sidechain is very easy. We have an operating signal, a kick drum. and an operated signal at bass. In insert of a bass's channel we put a compressor. A compressor makes the bass's loudness lower during sounding of a kick. In rock music this effect is used for solving the problem of overlapping of a spectrum. In electronic music we get super pumping track. Also, you should experiment with sidechain not only of a bass, but also of other instruments – guitars, leads, pads, percussion loops, and so on. Use your imagination. For finding your own sound in home studio, I suggest you to make an experiment with sidechain with use of reverb and delay. In fact, such simple experiments do your sound unique. In my practice, I use a package of plugins Bigitech Dynamics Pack for side chain. Also, in new versions of Steinberg Cubase 4.1, there is a possibility to use some VST3 plugins by default in sidechain mode. Paradox that from the beginning this method was a quick resolution of overlapping of a spectrum, and now this method became special effect which has found very wide application in a house music. At creation tracks with other artists, I often collide with artificial sidechain. This method reduces to simple volume control, so that during kick sound in the volume of the operated instrument, for example, closed hi-hat, is minimal. This means that in a track appears additional groove and pumping. Many beginners want to receive pump and effect using extreme values of a compression on the master section. This is a mistake. Nuances in a kick it is usually equalized low frequency component kick and high frequency click. The low frequency kick's body can be dense with obviously expressed narrow resonance on 60, 150 Hz or rock with flat enough hump from 60 up to 200, 300 Hz. Usually there is not enough high frequencies component in a kick and so you should add it. This click usually must be added in the area from 5000 to 8000 Hz. If you add it lower, it can overlap guitar frequencies. Attention! You should add the click when the mix is ready. With source sound, it is very difficult to guess this what range and quantity it is necessary to add a high frequency component of a kick. <laughs> Try to cut off on a live bass a frequency between 150 Hz and 400 Hz. Usually, on these frequencies a bass has unnecessary sounds. Often on this frequency we hear a resonance of a room where was made a record of bass guitar. 
Also, for better readability, you should add presents on a frequency from 1000 Hz till 1500 Hz. This is better to do in a final mix. Bass and guitar. It is one more group of instruments with an overlap spectrum and a source of dirt in the lower mid frequency range of a mix. Do the basses and guitars channels by analogy to kick and bass. It can be a soap and indistinctness of sounding in the bottom middle of a mix. This is what we were looking for. Overlapping of spectrums is in the range from 150 to 400 Hz. The typical resolution of a conflict cut low guitars frequencies with shelf, releasing that a frequency niche for a bass. Try to adjust a shelf on an equalizer of the guitar channel on 150 Hz and gradually rise frequency of a cut. Sometimes later you will hear that the bass and the guitar were divided and we have got right from a problem of overlapping of spectrums. As we know, a bass's spectrum begins from 42 Hz and a guitar's spectrum from 84 Hz. After guitar equalization, they have remained practically without a bottom. If authors idea low evil guitars, buy thick strings and lower tune of your guitar. It will work much more effectively and more musically than mixing of timbers of bass and guitar in a range of 200-400 Hz. A goof guitar track must sound very good from the beginning. It is only possible to cut low frequencies on it. For sharp sound, you can add a frequency in the range from 1200 till 3000 Hz. If a guitar sounds too acid, you can cut the frequency in this range. Synthesizers, leads, pads and strings. Synthesizers can have different spectrum of sounding and to have conflicts with every instrument. Start from kick and percussion and finish with other synthesizer slots. It is better to check synthesizer slots separately on compatibility with kick, bass and guitar. If there is a vocal in track, you should cut 600 Hz with equalizer. The most frequently mistake of a beginner is that few synthesizers are playing in same octave with similar frequencies timbers. In this situation, I recommend you to play your lots in a different octaves. You should build up your timbers so the dominating peak frequencies were different. So, the conclusion is that the best equalization is no equalization. Better to build up a timber of synthesizers from a beginning. Also, you can try to cut the frequencies areas. For example, 400 Hz in lead, 800 Hz in pad, and 1000 Hz in strings. Remember, it is very important to put correctly in an area all instruments with help of equalization, reverb, volume and panning. I'll talk about it a little bit later. Voice Voice is the main instrument in many tracks. It should be always distinct and should block nothing. Many beginners have the same problem with voices plays in a final mix. Actually, it's very easy. Despite of voices changing during the singing, it is seldom when a singer's range is more than one and a half octaves. That is why it is possible to consider a voice as the instrument with a static spectrum. The 
the bass frequencies hold for a voice in on frequency 600 Hz at width of strip EQ in one octave. This cut is necessary to do with all instruments which sound in with voice. I mean bass, guitar, synthesizers, except drums. But if after this a voice will have problems with some of instruments, do small cut on 1200 Hz. Usually it solves all problems. A voice's equalization is the most dangerous thing. It is very easy to make it flat, sharp or unnatural. Sing twice before equalize it. If you don't like the sounding of the voice, you should change your vocal microphone or your vocalist. Usually there is a wish to make a voice more brightly, to add some brush, to separate it from other instruments. But you need to do it not with help of equalizer. The classical method is to record a voice to a tape in Dolby mode, but to play it without Dolby mode. If you use a digital recording, then you may use spectral processors like Dolby 740 or Digilab Activator. Percussion and Cymbals The spectrum of percussion and cymbals usually is higher a spectrum of instruments harmonics from 1000 Hz and higher. But when you use samples of live percussion and cymbals, a spectrum can be a lot of low and mid frequencies artifacts, which will lead to conflicts to a bass, guitar and synthesizers. That's why you should cut with shell percussion and cymbals low and mid frequencies. Try to start with 800 Hz and higher. Please be careful, otherwise percussion and cymbals will sound acid and unnatural. Snare drum Almost all well-sounding snares, it is a combination of a live drum sounds and a synthetic sounds, or several correct equalizing sounds of live drum kit. According to non-linearity of ears, the load is sound from 1 kHz to 4 kHz. In some cases, you should lift this range for subjective loudness of every part, for example vocal or snare drum. Spectrum for snare drum is the largest. It interrupts all other instruments and it is not necessary to make free holes for it. But you should be careful with an equalization of a snare drum. Classical 14-inch snare has almost linear spectrum with a hump approximately on 200-300 Hz. This is a drum's resonance, which you should remove. Later, it will be easy to place it in a mix. In a mix with minimum of instruments, it is possible not to do this. Also, with help of default samples, this methodic can be super flaws. Compression The first goal to make so that it was loud enough without maximizer on the master bus. It is called peaks fight. To fight with peaks it is possible at the beginning of mix, even before instruments arrangement in a room. At first I decide how I can arrange instruments in space, so I cut all superflows proceeding from quality of sound coloration. Maximum quantity of peaks in the mix consists of sounds with big contain of high frequency. Therefore, instruments of background, everything that over 16-18 kHz you can cut off safely. It is possible not to cut it if an artistic plane idea of track is obligated to leave high frequencies. So, high frequency picks on vocal and acoustic guitars. Listen attentive and cut. The main thing not to bring especially hard distortions. For fight against picks you can use different limiters and maximizers. What kind of? It is your choice. 
it is to each taste and repeated experiments. I think that more musically of all with Pix consults UAD1 LA2A. I use it on vocal, acoustic guitars and synthesizers subgroups. Some producers prefer to cut Pix with Waves L2. Let's pay attention that low frequencies make bigger part energy of the mix, but not with such huge quantity of peaks as high frequencies. So we don't touch peaks on low frequencies. Important to cut carefully everything below 20-30 Hz. Try to share instruments on subgroups, on frequency attribute and cut peak of a long shoot. I am sure that it will sound more musical than multiband compressor. Our goal load and precise mix without any processing on master bars and no limiters at all. A remess of mix have to be anywhere from minus 10 decibels and peaks not load less than minus 3 decibels. It means that a lot of mastering hardware better fall should process this range. By the way, by mixing with master fader on zero, it is like this. There is an option concerning handles of the mixing console. Producers of consoles not on purpose mark position zero at faders of channels because just this position provides the best parity as signal noise. We draw a conclusion that if you have possibility to operate the volume of instruments on itself instruments, that better to do it. Ear can't catch a distortion presence of peak in size of 44 samples. It's one millisecond of sounding at audio CD standard. First of all, sound sources. If a timbre deem in incorrectly recorded, then compression can't help you. It is necessary to write down or reconsider a lot of sounds and to pick up the necessary one. Sometimes the variant turns out totally unexpected. As a rule, samples and timbres sound absolutely different in the mix and in itself. So, annotize once again, you should listen to the whole mix for choose the sound. Very important is duration of kick combination with line of bass and so on, but it's a question of a arrangement, not of a mixing. It is written a lot of about the theory of compression and everything to know about that. It's a principle of work, what varies at a change difference parameters, time of attack, degree of ratio and duration of release. All attributes and effects become visible at the first experiment. Very interesting are other sorts of compression. Multiband compression, frequency selective compression and expansion. Remember, good quality of compressor works imperceptible, of course, if you use it correctly. If you have to get sound effect, maybe you should use other processing, for example, envelope shaper. Usually, maximizers are peak limiters without normalize. It suits to final mastering. A little bit about mastering. These tricks carry out special trained stunt masters. Don't try to repeat these tricks in the house conditions. <laughs> in this joke there is a share of a joke, but the rest is the truth. In usual home studio you can't do mastering faultlessly. Mastering has to do professional with big experience and good control. Typical situation when you wrote a track and want to produce it. Serious label always have one or few mastering engineers in own staff. You only need to send a mix correctly prepared for mastering. The main requirement to such a mix 44 kHz, 32 bits, wave file. Please don't use limiters, maximizers and other devices of processing in the master section. If you send several tracks, you must to subscribe and to put the number of each track. A little maximizing hint. Each producer who respects himself will never achieve met RMS his track. It's fate of beginners. At RMS minus 11 decibel, dynamics of the mix suffer. But we can use this moment with benefit for ourselves. 
I discovered for myself wonderful possibility to check out mix on correct mixing, especially low and sub-low frequencies. The matter is that if the RMS minus 8, minus 9 decibel, the non-correct mixed track to sounds deformed and distort, but correctly mixed track lose only dynamics. It's a great way to check up. about fat sound and expensive devices. Kick drum. The main idea of this method is the generation of a sine wave with duration 1 second and frequency 50 Hz. Then the sine wave is exposed processing by pitch shifts effect. Few years ago, Arisazen from Infected Mushroom shared with world his secret of the kick drum. You can find this tutorial if you enter in a web search engine Infected Kick Tutor. The main idea of this method is the generation of a sine wave with duration 1 second and frequency 50 Hz. Then the sine wave is exposed processing by pitch shifts effect. Of course, I use this method immediately, but unfortunately I didn't get the result which I wish, so I didn't stop. I did the same procedure with preliminary generated sine wave in a sampler native instruments contact. I like this result on all of 100%. So, any penetrative kick has a mid-frequency and high-frequency component. Sound very smart, isn't it? Simply, you should add to the kick a closed hi-hat.
a closed hi-hat. You can change to any sample according to your taste. The main task is to add click for better reading in a mix. Second method. It is a simple work with library of samples. So, this variant of making your hit and recognized kick is a combination of few ready samples. For example, you can take the beginning of one kick and the low frequency release from another. I urgently recommend you to get Vengeance sound libraries with kick, loops, single shoots and effects. Attention! The majority of samples in the Vengeance sound libraries are specially prepared. If you're a fan of crystal clear music, make your own samples or find other libraries. My advice is to pay attention on Loopmasters and Abishal libraries. Third method. Use a synthesizer for synthesize your kick drum. It can be hardware or software synthesizer or special instrument for the sound generation. There were a lot of kicks experiences. As for me, I didn't get a decent kick, so I used a compressor and equalizer for it. The best result gave Clavia Nord Modular. The situation is better with special programs. I recommend you to use Sonic Church Microtonic, Waldorf Attack, Ism Bassism, and Creamware Kick Me. Using of special programs with mixing samples gives a great result. And remember, if the bass and kick sounds boring, it means that the whole mix will sound same. If the kick and bass are groove and fat, then you should work at the mix and it will be a hit definitely. Bass. It is a very important instrument in the mix. Right sound of bass makes people dance like crazy on the dance floor and idolize author of the track. Remember, the sound of the bass characterizes style of the track. How we can we do fat pumping bass? Please don't listen to people who scream that fat bass possibly to produce on expensive synthesizers. Stop! Everything is absolutely not like this. The main goal to choose a correct source of a signal and correctly to process it. As a sound source is approached almost every analog or virtual analog synthesizer. If you haven't hardware right now, you can use software synthesizer. I recommend Spectrosonics Trilogy, Rob Papen Blue, Rob Papen Predator, Novation Vistation, RGC Audio Zeta, November Audio Search, Arturia Synthesizers, Logic Audio ES1, Native Instruments Reactor 5, Reaffects Vanguard. Remember, there is no best synthesizer, all of them are good and have their own character. Secret of fat sound of bass, height and right use of parameters, filter release, filter sustain, and amplifier release, amplifier sustain. Often, sustain removed to zero, and amaze that you can hear a bass in intensive mix. The matter is if sustain is absent, a bright tune you can get only if you control release. The biggest value of release have never practically used. Therefore, the bright tune we hear during several tens milliseconds, but it's not enough for a fat, bright, pumping bass. Also, it is necessary to pay attention to a sequence of a bass. Be not afraid to change duration of notes and to use automation. 
one more important aspect, its form of a signal. Square and saw waveforms are more enriched with harmonics. That's why they sound very bright. You should make all manipulations with sound in the mix instead of make bass in solo mode. For processing of bass we use equalizer and compressor. Also, it's possible to add several effects of modulation, but not to the detriment of mono compatibility. About the equalizer process I told before. Work of the compressor at basses processing I should describe in detail. I read a lot of books and saw many videos, but I didn't understand how to make readable and pumping bass with help of compressor. Then I have paid attention on envelope processors. It was the answer on my question. From existing at present I have tested practically all similar processors. Digital Fish Phones, Creamware SPL, Samplitude Plugin, Logic Audio Plugin, Wave Trends X, but I was impressed by only one. Envelope Shaper, standard plugin from Cubase 4. I use it in sand mixing to the basic signal to taste. Music is creative process, don't forget to experiment. For example, envelope processor can apply either instrument in the mix. Try it by yourself. Synth double track. As I advised you, you should listen to more good and different kind of music. You can gather interesting harmonious and interesting audio special effects. Now I will speak about effects. When I was listening to Infected Mushroom, I asked myself how, how they make such widely sounding tracks without any damage to mono compatibility. As every young producer which writes me, I searched the answers in Magic Plugin Serial Enhancers. Of course, these plugins made some effects of widely sounding, but my intuition says that the secret is easy and it doesn't consist in plugin. If you know the technology of recording a rock music and you know what does double track means, then the principle is simple. A guitarist plays a part twice or four times. Thanks to unique nuances of playing, some parties have different characters and extraction of a sound. Of course, on a synthesizer it is a difficult and impossible to get different extraction of a sound. But we can get different a character of sound. I don't mean multilayer sampled libraries. I speak about virtual analog synthesis. To the left channel we pan an initial timbre. To the right, the same timbre with some changes. What we can change? First, filter cutoff, filter resonance in small limits. Second, type of filters. Third, LFOs values. When you use one synthesizer, for example Axis Virus, 
you can change filter route into split mode and change type of filters for the left and right channels or direct different oscillators to the different types of filter panning them till the end to the left and to the right what do we receive as a result? some timber but with different nuances our ear catches the difference of timbers and we hear a very wide sound Unreal White Bass In the trivial literature about the theory of mixing we can always find information about the positioning of the bass only in the middle. Also, we will find the information about what we can't do with frequencies below 250 Hz. It is not recommended to make experiments with phase lower 250 Hz, but in fact rules are created for them to break. So, the majority of producers know the theory and is familiar with technology of work with plugins stereo enhancers. We pan an initial sound of bass completely to the left channel. Also, we make a copy of bass, pan it to the right channel and adjust parameter oscillator phase or oscillator start. I recommend you to adjust the parameter oscillator phase in mono mode for saving frequencies mono compatibility. So we get super wide sound of bass. The side effect of manipulations with phase consists in mono compatibility. The density of a bass in mono a little bit lost and appears effect of modulation in it. The term phase rotating describes sample shift of one channel concerned to another. In practice, we apply a delay of the channel from 10 up to 40 milliseconds. The smallest value of delay gives us effect of modulation as chorus or phaser. The largest value, the delay effect. The wide bass tracks are successfully tested in various clubs and on different equipment. Attention, the compatibilities of wide bass with vinyls weren't checked. Backside of a metal. There is another side of work with interesting stereo effects, it's problems with phase. If you have this problem, use Cubase Stereo Dual Panner or Waves S1 Stereo plugin. A problem with the phase get to us also from reverbs in sense, effects of modulation like chorus and phaser. In such situations, do what I said before, use Stereo Dual Panner or Waves S1 Stereo plugin. Don't forget to use phase scope. Percussion and Symbols 
there are almost no rules in panning of percussion and cymbals. We practically never have deals with real acoustic drum kit and advises open hi-hat at the left, right cymbal on the right absolutely not actual. Nevertheless, for understanding the process, I recommend you to familiarize with basis of playing on acoustic drums. Paradox, but some producers pan live drums on the contrary, means that open hi-hat on the right. In this situation, we listen to acoustic drums from a hall as it is heard by the listeners. Usually live drums pan from the drummer, I mean open hi-hat at the left. Don't leave a percussion unprocessed. We don't hear dry sounds in our life, our sounds have small or big echo. Everything depends on a room's acoustic. Try to situate percussion in your imagined room. Use volume, panning, reverberation, work with sounds attack. Do a simple experience. Clap in your room and listen to echo from your clap. If you clap in airport or subway, you will feel the difference immediately. Listen and analyze sounds around you. The real professional work 24 hours per day. I mean not only creation of tracks, but also meditation, the analysis, contemplation. For softly symbols, I usually use some chorus. Listen to Vengeance Sounds libraries and you will understand what I mean. Virtual Room Hands To situate correctly instruments in your imaginate room, you should know some simple rules. You should acquire them very well, once and forever, because it is a mud gauge of a clear, transparent mix. To remove the instrument 1. Reduce volume 2. Cut off high frequencies 3. Cut off more high frequencies and sounds of the foreground 4. Reflection sound, louder than dry sound 5. Big release time for tail of reverb. 6. Do not use the enhancer. To approach the instrument. 1. Use enhancer. Lifting area high. 2. Reverb must be panned wide. 3. Reverb is bright, short and dry. 4. Short delay must be panned wide. The further a source of a sound, the less high frequencies we hear. In situation of mono control, small distances reveal barriers on phase shifts in era of high frequencies. It is necessary to find an equalizer for instruments remove into depth, which moves a phase, simulating an LQQ. And there are no so a lot. We take high shelf, lower it on 8-10 dB and smoothly lower frequency of a cut. If a sound becomes wide or moves into depth, it means that this EQ approached to us. I use Waves Q series. Notice, we don't need linear EQ for our purposes, I mean special depth. They are used for other properties. For example, they are used for correcting frequency without influence on a special arrangement. Reverberation. Hint 1. reverberation there is a damping. Theoretically it helps to make a tail of reverb less artificial, but if plugins and instruments are cheap, then it doesn't work. You should cut high frequencies before they pass through a reverb. For example, create a group and at first place a filter in insert and then reverb. Hint number 2. 
Some people think that tales of reflection in a real room are almost similar, and it doesn't depend on instrument's position. I'm absolutely sure that in majority real rooms it is not like this. That means you should use true stereo reverb, plugins or hardware. Hint number three. Many people forget that there are two modes of sense on effects. Pre and post fader modes. In pre fader modes, the volume of sense doesn't depend on fader's place. So what it gives us? It is very comfortable to make an ambience for many tracks, for example, percussion group. Each instrument has own channel and send to operate the balance of each instrument. The balance change, but the arrangement doesn't. Sometimes it is impossible in normal mode to make a reverb tail louder, but in pre-fader you can make it easily. Hint number 4 Each channel has different delay of the processed signal. For example, left channel has 0 milliseconds and right channel to your test, so we get a wide expansion of a panorama. Hint 5 There is a good effect if there is a wide part or guitars in mix. Send good situated on panorama bass and kick become processed. Try to process white striped instrument with a reverb with algorithm hall and pay attention that reverberation was added to every instrument includes heads and kick drum. Thank you very much for your wish to learn and experience. If you have any questions or comments, you are welcome to my websites or email me. 10 advices from Andy Vox 1. Learn the music theory. Knowledge of harmony and orchestration do not destroy creative potential. 2. Learn how to play different kinds of instruments for understanding the specific of each of them. For example, every boring part of synthesizer sequence can be hit because of pitch band, automation, modulation wheel, notes length, and so on. 3. Improve yourself. Start with trying to make your tracks better than a star's one. Imitate, then improvise. Make a track in your own style. Try to experiment, this is the only way to succeed. 4. Pay attention on nuances. Ordinary and boring track won't be liked by an audience. If a track is done totally, we respect it. Listen to Juno Reactor. It's an example of hard work with the arrangement and the sound. 
5. Listen to professional's opinion. At the beginning it will be quite insulting. 6. It is possible to develop a good ear for music. There are special courses of exercise. There is always a hope. 7. There are no rivals between producers. There are colleges. Realizing this, a great deal can be gained. Not only your colleges, but the whole universe will support. 8. Perform. It's the best way to show your talent, to make some photos for MySpace and get to know some interesting people, like musicians, producers and labels. 9. If you have chosen your way, follow it to the end and you are sure to win. Take a look at Nova Day's world stars. They were background singers. Other of them was playing for 10 years cover versions of popular songs in garages of their parents and was unpopular. 10. Share your knowledge with other musicians without indemnity. This will speed up the progress and move to our common goal. The most important things in our life get not for money.